Man, it has been a while since I did a review on some wireless earbuds, mainly because I just went with the AirPod Pro 2s and just called it a day. They fit most of my needs with noise cancellation, taking calls on the go, sometimes doing some workouts with them. They're just my all around go-to earbuds. So I never really felt the need to get another pair until recently. So what I decided to do was pick up these Beats Studio Buds Plus. Not only do they come in this sexy translucent case, but they also don't have that dental floss hanging off the side of your ear, which can get in the way during everyday activities. And that could be more suitable for places like the gym. So let's see if these Beats Studio Buds Pluses can beat the AirPod Pro 2s. It comes in this nice sexy translucent case so you can see the battery midway through the case, which is actually really sick. You can charge the case by using USB-C. Form factor is not that much bigger than the actual AirPod Pro 2s. This is very pocketable if you're on the go. And even at the gym, I found that it just doesn't even get in the way when it's in your pocket. So one big selling point of the Bud Pluses, that's what I'm gonna call it because the name is just way too long. But one big selling point is the battery life. These have nine hours of battery life. With the AirPods, let's say I start work at about eight or nine o'clock. By about lunchtime, I get the beep saying it's time to charge these. Whereas this one, it comes with nine Nine hours of battery life and it actually lasts that long like i can go a full day and not even have to charge it by the time i get off of work maybe it starts to beep possibly if i was playing my music loud and stuff like that but for the most part i can just get through the whole day not even have to worry about it and the case also gives you another 27 hours of battery life so not only will it work for your long days at work but also a long day of traveling as well now if you do have an iphone it'll show you the battery life of the case and the earbuds just like on the airpod pro 2 so you don't really lose anything there there. So I did notice one or two hiccups in the connection when I was at the gym. That's a high stress situation where there's a lot of people around with wireless earbuds. Everybody has them these days. And for me, about one or two times, it kind of cut out on the left one, like it faded in and faded out really quickly, barely noticeable, but it did happen. And I never get that with the AirPod Pro 2. So I think the connectivity has to go to the AirPod Pro 2s. So the earbuds themselves are a nice small package. To get the right fit, they've included four different sizes of earbuds in there. I find these to stay in my ear way better than the AirPod Pro 2s, which I have to readjust ever so often. And I get scared sometimes when I'm at the gym, you know, when like you raise your hand over your ear, it kind of knocks that dental floss piece like out. So overhead stuff has always been kind of a struggle for me. While the Beat Studios do stick out slightly, it's very hard to like knock them out. Like you have to like, be like in there to really, really hit this and knock it out. So it has that going for itself over the AirPod Pro 2s. The AirPod Pro 2s have the volume control as well as the touch sensitive control. I'm not a big fan. Like I never can get it right. You know what I mean? Like I tap it once or twice or three times and it always wants to do its own thing. I just haven't gotten the rhythm down. The slider works, but doesn't work. I don't know. It's not the most intuitive to me. I like these buns way more on the Buds Pluses. Not only are the buns done really well, so they don't feel cheap, they're very tactile and nice feeling, You can, but you can also reprogram them to do a lot of functions. So you can have it choose between the noise cancellation mode. You can also have it control the volume, holding it on the right will increase the volume, holding on the left will decrease the volume, which I also really, really like, and it's very intuitive. You know whether you're holding it down or not, you feel it. Hitting either one three times will go backwards, hitting it two times will go forward, hitting it once will pause or end a call. It's just so much more intuitive to me. I much prefer this over the touch control. Even though the touch control is sexy, it's futuristic, the buns are done so well on the beats that I don't even miss the touch control. In fact, I just much prefer this over the touch control. So we talked a little bit about the design. Let's talk about the sound, okay? Because Beats has always been known for the bass. They bring the bass. It's very muddy, but ever since Apple took over, they've kind of clean things up a bit, <laughs> the clean house. Now I'm very picky when it comes to sound. I have some of the best headphones and earbuds on the planet. That's not a flex. That's just me saying that I take this seriously. And while these aren't perfect by any means, they do do some things really well. So instead of having that sub bass, which muddies up everything, they put it more towards the mid. So there's a lot of mid bass, nice quick hits, like an old friend saying, hello, nice to meet you. You're glad to see them. They're glad to see you. That's how the mid bass is. Then also in the mids, the vocals are very clean. These have that spatial audio, so separation of instruments are very nice in these. Everything's just very clean. So for general music listening, no matter what I threw at it, it sounded better than the AirPod Pro 2. So that was a big jump up for me. 
Not saying that these are the best on the market, but they're definitely better than the AirPod Pro 2s. Me personally, I listen to rap, EDM, rock. I listen to some country. Don't kill me. I know people always say they're gonna unsubscribe when I say I listen to country, but I listen to some. I dabble. I dabble in everything. I just love good music. And these just do enough for me when I'm on the go. Now they have three microphones on these and they're supposed to be larger than the original buds. These do pick up a little bit of outside noise, but for every day, just talking on a quick call, they aren't as good as the AirPod Pro 2s, but they're still better than most of the stuff out on the market today. So right now you're hearing the audio from the Buds Pluses. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. A lot of people like to compare this with my studio microphone. Don't do that. $1,000 microphone, $160 microphone. Don't do it. But they should sound pretty good for everyday calls or even important calls or conference calls that you might have. Now they had to concede some stuff. So these don't have the H1 chip like the Beats Fit Pros do. Those are $200, this is 170. So they took about $30 off. So you, while you can find these and track the location, you can't do the whole like with your phone, like walking around the room trying to find it. Can't do that. But. I rarely have, I've maybe used it like three times on the AirPod Pros and Pro 2s. You don't really need it. Now these do have noise cancellation and it works really well in the gym to get rid of that horrendous music that they pump over the loudspeakers and it'll cut out city noise as well. They also have a transparency mode where you can let in noises. So if you have a gym partner, uh, if you need to walk around, if you need to run outside, uh, you can put on the transparency mode and you can hear everything that's going on around you as well as your music. So with noise cancellation, you cut everything out. With off, you let some of the noise in, and then with transparency, you let a whole lot of noise in. So take your pick. Now I did take these on a plane, and you can still hear about 15 to 20% of the engine noise, I would say. If you want something for like planes, I would just go with some over-ear ones. Those cut out the most noise, but these do an overall nice job, as good as the AirPod Pro 2s. And, you know, I looked up some reviews. Some people said that they returned it after a week. Some people said these are the best things since sliced bread. It just depends on who you are, and you know, you know, earbuds and audio is a really divisive you know, topic to say the least. So you kind of have to figure out what your needs are. If you're somebody that needs the longer battery life, you need noise cancellation, you need something that sounds good, you need something that you can wear to the gym, you love tactile buttons, I don't see why you wouldn't pick this up for $170. Yeah, they might be a little bit overpriced. You know, I would love to see these at $100. That would be magnificent, but they can't cannibalize the AirPod Pro 2s too much, right? These are 250. So if I had to choose again, if you were to ask me like, oh, I'm, I don't have either of these, I would go with the Buds Pluses. So before we get out of here, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. It has been your boy, BT, saying peace.